Hello and welcome to this series of sales tips. My name is Sanjay Vadva and I'm an internationally certified business coach. I work with growth minded entrepreneurs to help them grow their business while they can free their own time and involvement in that business. So they are free and the business keeps growing. Now, if you have to grow your business, it cannot happen unless and until you improve your sales. And this series will give you some solid tips and tricks that will help you increase your sales. Your sales keeps increasing, your time and involvement keeps reducing, your business keeps growing. That's an ideal entrepreneur. So let's get on with the series and watch the tip of today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about selling ratios. Uh, knowing your selling ratios is very, very critical to manage your sales. A sales cycle has various stages. The first stage of a sales cycle is to identify your ideal customer type. Who are the kind of customers you want to sell to? This stage is called as suspecting, creating a list of suspects. Uh, who actually fit uh, your service or product. They are the ones who would need your service or product, uh, maybe now, maybe in some time in future, but this is the kind of customer who looks for your service or products. That's suspecting. Once you approach a suspect, okay, that becomes a prospect, okay? Somebody, they now know about your service or product. Before this, they didn't even know about your service or product. Whether they buy or not is a different story, but now they are aware that there is a service or product that is available that they may need at some point in time. That's called as a prospect. Out of some of the prospects, uh, some of them get interested and they want to know about more about how your service or product can help them. They call you for a meeting and you now have a meeting with that. That is called as an approach stage. You're now approaching them and you have them on your approach list. Uh, once you've presented your sales, uh, most most often then that moves into a, a ratio called negotiation. You know, you start negotiating the price, the terms, the conditions, when will the service be delivered? When is this product going to reach me? What are the discounts? This, that and the other. And that's the negotiation stage. Once the negotiation is done, you reach the stage of closing okay and you sign on the dotted line that's where the agreement really happens and and these are the various stages in which sales happens now uh, knowing your ratios of all of these is very very critical if you're managing sales and it'll help you in improving your sales if you understand the ratio if there are 100 people on your suspect list and you start calling them how many out of those hundred actually listen to you and give you a kind of time where you can tell them about your product or service and they come onto your prospect list? What's the percentage? From your prospects, how many actually call you for a meeting and give you the, you know, the kind of listening or time for you to present your service or product so that you can get them engaged and interested in buying that's another ratio okay and then the ratio ratio is after they've met you how many actually get interested and take the conversation forward to the negotiation stage where you start talking about the price the conditions the terms in which the sales is going to happen so that's the another percentage and from negotiation how many get closed now imagine if there are 100 suspects and out of 100, 40 become prospects. So that's a 40% conversion. From 40 prospects, 10% people actually call you for a meeting. That's a 25% conversion. From 10 people who call you for a meeting, two people actually get negotiating. That's a 20% conversion. And from two people who are negotiating with you, you close with one sale. That's 50% conversion. Which means for having one sale, you need to have 100 suspects. 100 suspects lead to 40 prospects. 40 prospects lead to 10 approaches. 10 approaches lead to two negotiations and two negotiations leads to one sales. So for every sale, you need to have 100 suspects. Now, it, the, the once the numbers are clear to you, it's so very interesting that if you want to have two sales, 
imagine how many suspects you need to have if you want to have five sales how many suspects you need to have okay that's a straight way of improving your sales another way to improve your sales once you know these numbers is to make sure that these numbers keep the percentage conversion keeps improving which means you got to start looking at how do i effectively convert suspects into prospect when i call people for appointment how should that call be what is my calling script that is going to get the number of 40% conversion higher to maybe 50 or 60% conversion when i start negotiating or approaching people what do i tell them such that they go from approach to negotiation more people walk into that uh from approach to negotiation i don't lose 80% people in that conversion so you can actually start looking at which are the holes which are which you need to plug in your sales process to also improve your sales so knowing your ratios helps you in two ways one straight away increase the suspect pool so that you start getting more sales and or second improve the ratios in between which means you know get more practice done or training of your sales staff or learn more or observe and 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 uh, be more effective in each of these stages so that your sales improve uh, i hope you understand the fun of doing sales by numbers understand the ratios if you don't have ratios yet start recording your ratios so that after 2 or 3 months of doing enough of sales calls you will have those ratios with you and that will help you improve your sales i will see you in the next video so signing off this is sanjay vadwa so how did you like today's tip on increasing your sales if you like this tip then please hit the like button there if you want more tips like these please subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon so that we can notify you when new tips come up we have more than 100 tips on improving your sales and i promise you that these tips are solid implementable ideas that will increase your sales and enhance your business so please like share and subscribe hit the bell icon and see you in the next video mm -hmm.